Hi, this is Megan McDay bringing you the review of uh, another deck. Um, yeah, it's always another deck, isn't it? Um, this one, I'm kind of having fun with this right now because it's a hot July day. And the one deck that I'm pulling out to the review on is the Halloween deck, the Halloween Oracle deck. Yes. <laughs> um, I am so excited. It just puts me in the mood and the mind of fall and cooler weather because right now it's too darn hot. Um, and uh, I think of another expletive for that. But wanted to give you a deck that's just a little bit uh, looking forward to a new season that's coming up. This is called the Halloween Oracle, as I said. Um, what really makes this deck uh, really well done, I've, I've opened up in purchase, yes, I've made mistakes, I've purchased some Oracle decks that I really did not care for in the least. Uh, there's a lot of ones that, that look really stunning on the outside and you open up the box and it's kind of like, wah, 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 you just got this. <laughs> um, this deck is not that. This deck, um, even though the imagery is all Halloween, and I guarantee you, you're going to get to see these cards, it's all Halloween. The correspondence is the meaning on the cards is really good, not just for Halloween, but in general, just as a deck to read, um, to work through one's life or work through somebody else's life to help them work through things. There's a lot of meaning in the cards, and the cards are wonderful. So with any, without any further ado, I'm just going to start flashing through them and what you see and what you get. Okay? Invisibility. How many people have ever felt like they could just be invisible? The graveyard card. I should really put my glasses on. I know what they're going to kind of shine in the light, but you'll have to live with it because I want to see so I can read this to you. Um, graveyard, standing for unnecessary fear. And we'll go back to this guy, too. Um, invisibility was authenticity. Graveyard, unnecessary fear. A hearth card. Halloween looking hearth. Happiness in our hearts and in our homes. Skeleton, standing for strength. Backbone, yeah. Zombie, control. It's like the whole suit of swords wrapped up in that card. Okay. Oh. This one is a good. I love this card. This cats. What can you say about cats? This this card is is cats. Um, the black cat, and that card is gorgeous. Who can't? Who would not like this card? Fortune meets. Opportunity. That is a cat. Fortune meets opportunity. Get on that table and. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. Cauldron, synergy, and healing. Barmbrack, sweetness, and synergy. Oh, 
And this is where I'm talking about where these cards kind of surprise you. Okay. Um, forgiveness. Reducing burden. Doesn't look like a Halloween card, but it's in this deck. Forgiveness and reducing burden. Oh, I didn't show you the backs. Backs are great. Bats and broomsticks and ghosties. Good stuff. Um, cream. So this one is going to be um, Skull of Flowers Creating Through the Ashes. This is one of a number of skull cards in this deck. Okay. Eternal Love. Love is eternal and it transcends physical death. That's a great card, you guys. Werewolf, exploring wildness. Scrying, intuition. Um, I'm gonna skip a few here. And just bring you some highlights because it's a bigger deck, it's a lot of cards in it, and I'd like you to discover some of these for yourself. Um, so this one is Night Song, Hidden Talents. You wouldn't think of a cardinal ordinarily in a Halloween deck, but Night Song, Hidden Talents. I think that's good. Good night. Okay. Skull of Light Illumination. This is the good one. Apple. Risk and Reward. That is a great freaking card. Okay. How could I not show you Jack o' Lantern for protection? Death, the eternal cycle, begins here. Uh, the witch, the earthly weaver of the world. Yeah, that would be me. Um, skull of stars, infinite possibilities. And what Halloween would not be uh, complete without trick or treat, mischief, and play. These these cards are just just opening this duck and taking it out for the short view is making me so happy right now. Um, it is Halloween is my favorite. Samhain is is my favorite. Um. Sabbath in the in the Wiccan calendar, and it is just the most beautiful time of year. Uh, my soul comes alive in that in that time of year. Well, it's always alive. I love fall. Um, so, uh, you know, I'd like you to see some of these. Oh, how can I do not do ghost? Ghost regret. This is a good one. Joy. Rejoicing in the present. Hey, this is a Halloween card, guys. Joy. Rejoicing in the present. Looks like it comes from one of those light-loving decks that, that they got on the shelves. But it's in this Halloween deck. This, this is a great Halloween deck. Um... Uh, Dawn, the light after the darkness. That is a phenomenal card. Who can't get fired up about that card? It is so wonderful. And, of course, I will show you this one last. 
Um, because what Halloween is not complete without its spider. Web of community and weaving. So there you have it. Um, this is a phenomenal duck. I, this is a good time to pick it up too. Uh, we're, we're cycling, uh, through the wheel. We will be at Halloween before you know it. Um, and this deck, it just, being silly because I don't keep this deck in the box. Um, this deck is just a phenomenal deck for anybody who is who loves Halloween. And let me ask you, who does not love Halloween? This is what it looks like. Run on into Goddess Elite to pick one up. We will have as many of these as we can for your delight and woo, Halloween pleasure. So, again, this is Megan with Goddess Elite. Uh, bringing you another review. And uh, thanks for tuning in and being with me tonight. Bye-bye.